You nailed it. Mojada Amadea in Los Angeles. Very correct. It. It's a hot new show here at the Armory. And Madea herself joins us. Sabina. Sabina, say your full name because you say it much more beautifully than I do. Sabina Suniga Varela. Uh, oh. Gorgeous. And you are the star of the show. So tell us about the production. This production uh, began a few years ago, actually, in a previous inc incarnation at the Magic Theater. It then traveled to Chicago. It's been to L.A. and most recently was at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And that's the production that audiences in Portland will see today. And what does the title mean? Because everyone does, are, they're not sure how to pronounce it. Could you clarify for us? So mojada is actually a derogatory term for wetback. It, it's used uh, about uh, for immigrants that have come across the border. And it began in the 1950s. There was Operation Wetback, which was an immigration operation uh, introduced by the government. And so what we have done and what Luis has done is really shined a light on this word mojada and talked about what it is to be an illegal, an other in a country. And take us, let's take a look around the set as you explain the story. I know it's one of love and transformation, betrayal. Definitely, it's the Greek adaptation of this classic tale. And it's set in Boyle Heights. So what you'll see on this stage right now is a representation of a home in Boyle Heights. We have a traditional garden with herbs and flowers that the character of Tita, played by Vivis, represents her world of healing and um, ritual. We also have, uh, the set was uh, built by Christopher Acebo, built and designed. He also did the costumes. He is a fantastic artist. He created our house. Uh, they actually toured through Boyle Heights and, and saw pictures to kind of create this feeling of East Los Angeles. It's a little uprooted, a little off kilter to kind of Ex, you know, embrace the feeling of what it's like to be in a new place. And I know something very dramatic happens right up there. Gasps yes. from the audience. Definitely. Can you give us a little tidbit? You said this one not for the children. Definitely. I mean, if anybody knows the story of Medea, I don't have to give anything away. Okay. We know that uh, it ends in tragedy, and this play gets to explore how this family uh, came to that point. There is a violent act in the play that is crucial and pivotal. And, and yes, the house is, is totally usable. We go in, we go out, we open the doors, walk up the stairs. Does it distract you when you hear comments, gasps from the audience? You know, it's actually, they complete our circle. There's one specific moment where somebody kind of makes a dig politically and the audience is roaring in laughter. And personally, for my character, it almost feels like I can hear people laughing at me. Oh, and so it actually kind of, it, it, it's wonderful to have the interaction. Well, we are running out of time really quickly. Where can we, everybody buy tickets? PCS.org or come down to the Armory and just hang out um, in the lobby and go to the box office in person. Sabina, thank you so much. Thank and it's running you. through the end of the month. The Can't month. wait to check this out. Back Boy, to you guys. Yeah.